So an old man approached me as I was unpacking my gear for training today and he said it was pretty confronting. You can only choose five weighted exercises to do for the rest of your life. I said, why would it just be five? He said, it just is. I said, why? Why? And he said, just answer the question. What are my top five exercises weighted that I would do myself if I could only choose five? What ones are gonna best complement my training for the rest of my life? I chose a back squat to start. Now, the reason I chose a back squat is because I think it's probably the single greatest weightlifting exercise you can do. It tackles everything. It tackles mobility, it tackles strength, it tackles power, and when it comes down to it, I think it does your whole body. It complements your whole body in a way that no other exercise can do. Now, the second one, a clean pull. And the reason I chose this was because I thought about deadlifts. How could you not? And I thought deadlifts are quite limited. Of course you need to add a pulling movement in to complete these five weighted exercises. If you didn't have any kind of pull, you'd be lacking something. But I thought deadlifts are limited in that it maximizes strength, right? What the clean pull adds is the dynamic, uh, the power dynamic. When I added clean pulls in, I didn't have any deadlifts in my program and my deadlift went way up. From not training deadlift, but training clean pulls, I added, I think it was 10 kilos to my deadlift, 230 kilos to a 240 kilo deadlift. The shrug incorporates your upper back a lot more than what the deadlift does on its own. And I also considered adding in a trap bar deadlift simply because it's easier on the body as you get older, but I thought, F it, do the clean pull. It's such a beneficial exercise, more superior than the deadlift if you had to pick between the two, like the scenario I was placed in, and that's why it makes number two on the list. The third one is a power clean. Power cleans are so good at adding power to your arsenal. They engage the hips in a way that no other movement does. Sure, you could argue that a clean does, or that a snatch does, but what that doesn't do is it doesn't, well actually what it does do is it requires more technique. And as you get older, as uh, well with beginners, the technique can, it can be a steep learning curve before you start to see any benefits. And I think the power clean, unless you really wanna get into Olympic lifting, the power clean negates that technical learning curve and it still gives, or it gives those benefits of power immediately. So you can start working on it and start benefiting from it straight away. It's also easier on the knees, easier on the body, not as physically taxing while still giving those benefits. That's why number three is the power clean. Now, the fourth one is, I thought there has to be some kind of press, like something has to go above your head for this to be a complete um, choice of five choices. So I narrowed in on the push press. So I thought the push press was that happy medium between a strict press and a jerk, and it's going to allow you to move decent weight, build strength, and build power. Now, the final one obviously was the most difficult because I'd thought about everything I definitely wanted. And the fifth one, it was a toss up between bench press and Jefferson curls. So we all know what bench press is. Most people watching this channel should know what the Jefferson curl is. It's an incredibly beneficial exercise, the Jefferson curl. But I just thought if I could only choose five, I think the Jefferson curl is just that bit too specific. So I went with the bench press, another pushing exercise. For me personally, with my calisthenics and gymnastics training, it just adds so much to that realm in terms of pushing strength. So for planches, it has a lot of carryover. It is a it kind of tackles as great as the squat is. If there's areas that it, the squat doesn't address, the bench press picks that up. 
It's a great strength builder, a great all-rounder. It lets you work on technique, develop power, and develop strength all in the one movement. And that's why bench press rounds out the list of my top five weighted exercises that I was put on the spot to come up with. The bench press, I feel like it maybe just cut it. I'm not sure if there's anything that's better than that to go with. So I'm heaps interested to hear what you guys think. If an old man came up to you and put you on the spot, quick top five exercises, what would you choose? Where would you go? What would be your aim in putting five together? Would it be mobility, strength, power? Would it be all of them? Would it be longevity? Would it be immediately now as best as I can be? Let me know what your top five are. Put it in the comments. Let me know. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like it, give it a like. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. Bang! There's a subscribe. I'm the old man. That was the whole trick. I've become the old man. Subscribe there. There's the button and I'll see you for the next video.